Hey guys, Jim here. Went down to stop and shop the other day and picked myself up a box of pasta. Yep, I got David Pastanak pasta. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There he is. There's that side. What the heck? Guys, what's this? Wow. Let me see this. Hang on here. There's something in here. Whoa, what's going on here? What the heck? Look at this. Wow. There's a Wanda Franco. Guys, I just pulled a Wanda Franco out of the pasta. Wow, man, this card is popping up everywhere. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Um, but don't worry, guys. If you guys want this card or, you know, if you guys want this 21, 2021 Top Series 1 Wanda Franco, not this specific one, but if you want one and you don't yet have one, don't worry because it's believed and estimated that Tops will be printing nearly 730,000 of these cards. So there's going to be plenty to go around. So don't worry about that. You will definitely have an opportunity to get one. And so, yeah, so um, that that's leads perfect right into what i was going to sh show here today and talk about i did catch the wanda mania a little bit here and um i decided that since i probably wasn't going to be buying any bowman best packs to rip um i thought i would pick up some wanda franco's because i personally think the 2021 bowman's best is his rookie card and there is a bit of a debate going on about this and a lot of other people agree with me although in order to have debate there has to be two sides so many other people believe that this is his rookie card but i'm going to show you my pickups here and then i'll talk about why i feel the way that i do so first off this is the 2021 bowman's best wanda franco very nice card it is numbered 50 in the set. And so I picked that up. And I thought that while I was picking up on DeFranco Bowman Best, I thought I would grab the refractor as well. So I grabbed that one. And also figured I would get the inserts. This is the Masterpieces. Very beautiful card, actually. Um, not, not difficult to get, but this insert, um, the Masterpieces are inserted one, one in every 18 packs. So to get a Wanda Franco, you'd probably have to open quite a few packs. And lastly, I picked up the Future Vibrance. Wanda Franco. This one's not so hard. These are uh, Future Vibrants are inserted in every one to three packs. But um, yes, so let's talk about what a rookie card is. Um, Beckett actually considers the 2021 Bowman best Wanda Franco to be his rookie card as well. And so what's the difference between these two cards? One's a 2021. One came out before the other. Um, what makes this a rookie card? Is it just because it has the, the RC logo there? I mean, we as collectors do not need the RC logo to tell us what a rookie card is. So what is, what is a rookie card in my opinion? A rookie card is a card that was issued in a legitimate set. So obviously Bowman's Best is a legitimate set and so is Topps. It would be issued via pack and or factory set. Bowman's Best and Tops both fall into that category. And it would be a first time inclusion in a base set that contains veterans and is numbered normally within that set. So 2021 Bowman's Best. This is Wanda Franco's first time inclusion in a set that contains veterans. Bowman's Best has many veterans in there. And 
this card is numbered 50, which it's just normally numbered within that set. So based on that criteria, this would be his rookie card because this would be the second time inclusion in a base set that contains veterans and is numbered normally. So to me, this is his rookie card. Um, Beckett has had their standards in place, which basically are those standards I just mentioned for over 10 years. And they are standing strong that this is his rookie card based on those standards. They're not changing. And so, again, other, th other than that rookie card logo, what, what, why is this a rookie card over this? I don't get it. We, we definitely don't need that logo to tell us what a rookie card is. Let's take a look here. This is um, the 2019 Bowman, Bowman Prospects Chrome, okay? So this is Bowman Prospects. So this is, is this his rookie card? No, this is not his rookie card. As it says on there, it's his first Bowman card. But why is it not his first rookie card? If you look on the back, the number is BCP100, Bowman Chrome Prospects. So it is not numbered normally within the Bowman Chrome set. So no, that is not a rookie card. Is this a rookie card? Yes, this is a rookie card. There's no rookie card logo on there, but we know this is Justin Verlander's rookie card. In fact, there is a 2006 Tops Justin Verlander that says rookie right on it, but it is not his rookie. This is his rookie because this is card number 677, 2005 Tops. It's included in a set, a base set, that contains veterans, and it is numbered normally within that set. So that's a rookie card. Same here with the 1985 Tops Mark McGuire. We know there's no logos on here to tell us, but we as collectors know that this is a rookie card. And same with the 1980 Tops Ricky Henderson and hundreds and hundreds of other rookie cards that have been produced over time. So that is... My opinion, that's the way I feel about it. And I think in the long run, I don't know how it's going to play out, but I do think that in the long run, this one will be considered his rookie, his true rookie card. But I could be wrong. Anyway, I got both of them, like I said. And if you believe this is going to be his rookie card, or even if you don't, it's still a great card to have. It's got the rookie cup on it. I mean, the guy had over 200 at-bats last year, so... Um, yeah, he's going to be a great player. You know, like I said, if you do want to get a copy of this card, there'll be plenty available. If Topps is printing 730,000 of these, that's a whole lot of print run. And it actually concerns me because we are getting very close to junk wax era production. I believe 85 Topps, 84, 85 Topps had a million card print run. So we're at three quarters of a million now. If Tops keeps raising their print runs over the next year or two, we're going to be right around that million mark, guys. So really need them to cut back on production, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I appreciate everyone watching. That's all I got. Just my opinion. Bye for now.